Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber and the subscriber sent the donation. So remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question is going to be answered, make sure you send a donation. All right. So this one says, I met a really hot girl in a bar who seemed to be really into me. She said she liked me uh, and that I reminded her of her ex-boyfriend and asked me to take her number and text her. She was about an eight or a nine. We spoke for about a half an hour. I messaged her the next day, but she didn't reply. I messaged her 48 hours later and still no response. What do you think? I know I had the right number because I, I sent her a text message in the bar when she gave me the number. All right, so basically, all you got to understand, you know, what what's happening here is this, is that sometimes when you interact with chicks and even if it seems like they're into you, right, at that moment, while they're, you know, talking to you and y'all flirting or whatever, she could be into you and y'all could exchange numbers and all this other stuff. And then later on, she will change her mind about, you know, getting with you and making something happen, right? Because a lot of times, you know, chicks, they're going to do things, um, you know, how depending on how they feel in the moment. So in that moment, she was feeling you. She was like, OK, you know, let's make something happen. You know, you know, take my number, this and this and that. And then, you know, as time went on the next day or whatever, or two days later, um, she probably thought about it and was like, I don't really know about this guy. You understand what I'm saying? Or, you know, I, I really shouldn't have gave him my number because he kind of reminds me of my ex. And I don't really, you know, want to like get with him because I'm going to keep thinking about my ex or where it could be a number of different reasons as to why she changed her mind. You understand? And the part that's confusing uh, to a lot of guys when this stuff happens is because you think, that, you know, hey, she was, you know, all up on me the other day. So why all of a sudden she's not picking up her phone or texting me back? Right. And again, it it has to do with a chick changing her mind and her just thinking about all these different things in that scenario or that situation. Or what happens is that, you know, a day or two later when you text her, something else is happening in that moment. So it's occupying her time and her her mind or whatever. And the thing is, you got to understand, like women, they'll they'll sort of just be all over the place with their emotions and what they're thinking about and all this other stuff. So by the time you call her, there's probably a whole bunch of other things she's thinking about, a whole bunch of other things that's going on that distracts her from even focusing on you hollering at her. You understand what I'm saying? And the thing is, is that, you know, as time goes on and they think about it, their um, feeling about that situation changes. You understand? Because I've been in plenty of situations where, you know, I met I met up uh, I met a chick at a bar or a party or wherever, and we're talking. You know, sometimes we'd even be making out, and then we you know we exchange numbers, right? So you would think, oh, you know, shit is gonna pop off, right? So I would hit the chick up the next day or whatever. And get no response. You feel what I'm saying? So that can happen sometimes. You know what I mean? Or I remember I was talking to this chick and we was, you know, flirting and this and this and that. And I told her, I was like, listen, you know, I got a girl, but um, me and my girl is in an open relationship. Right. So at that point, she was like, oh, that's cool. You know, it's all good. Blah, blah, blah. So she's still flirting. We still talking. We still doing this and doing that. So I was like, yeah, you know, let's get together this weekend. All this other stuff. Right. So when I text her to get together with her, she was on some shit like, oh, you know, I was thinking about it. And I'm not really too comfortable with the fact that you got a girl, you know, so she changed her mind. She was thinking about the shit and now it's a different thing. You feel what I'm saying? So basically you just got to understand that chicks will do that. You got to charge them to the game. Don't worry about all that stuff. Just keep it moving to the next chick. You feel me? 
So that's pretty much it. Um, so guys, listen, if you um, have any more questions, make sure you click the link below. And again, uh, thanks for the donation that you sent. And, and remember, if, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question is going to be answered, um, you know, send that donation. And I'll holler at you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below so you can send me a question and I'll do a video on it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which gives you seven tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And number three, I want you to click the link under that to go to badboymembership.com where you get 45 to 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.